Hello YouTube Model Railroaders, welcome to another layout update. This month I intend to cover a little of the JMRI operations that I use. I've expanded it so I don't have to print switch lists anymore. Uh, I discovered there was a, uh, a web server on the JMRI operations on the uh, program, the Panel Pro. And with that, you can run the uh, switch lists and pick up set outs, all that stuff to your phone or electronic device, iPad, whatever have you. Um, and it's really kind of cool using the program, the uh, Y throttle. And along with that, you can run your trains with your phone, which is kind of kind of cool. So what I did is uh, added the web server to the startup menu. And then from there, on my phone, I open Wii Throttle, Y Throttle, and with that, I can show what my next pickup is. Now, one we have here, I don't know if the camera can focus on it, but we're going to pick up in Monroe and set out at Monroe. There is actually there's one set out at the interchange and two pickups, one from the interchange and one from the scrap dealer. So what's cool with this is you can, uh, hopefully it's focusing on it, you can check the boxes and then at the bottom you can move to your next station which is Otley, which is kind of cool. And then on the same phone you can go back to your throttle and you can run the train. Right now I have 4303 put in and it's got all the, the features, the lights, the horn, all that kind of stuff. And then also by sliding to the right I've got all my switches listed is kind of fun and so I can run the routes as I'm operating so to set that up I went to the JMRI program and started the there's a place on startup where you can start the web server and it'll show what kind of screens you have up and things like that so let's go out and run a train right now I have a a preview of the switch list here and then it's broken up on the phone and by station you can also show the whole manifest list from station to station if you wish but what's cool about the conductor mode is that you can go from station to station check off and then move to the next one and so on and so forth so it's kind of fun it's kind of hard to explain in detail but there are lots of YouTube videos out there I was able to learn most of this from exploring some of those different uh, YouTube videos so let's go out to the layout and see how it works, shall we? Okay, like I mentioned, we're here in Monroe. And on the phone you can see my conductor list. I have two pickups and one set out. I'm supposed to pick up from the interchange track this blue boxcar here. And I'm also supposed to pick up from the scrap dealer which is focuses right in here a gondola and then I'm supposed to set out the Pennsylvania gondola with rocks as its load which is right here so that will go with that and I can switch over to throttle now to create the maneuvers when the headlight is on whoops headlights on Get the train going and we'll go ahead and operate it and I'm going to try to hopefully get it set in such a way that you can see some of the operation as I go. Oops, did I knock things over? So here we go. Okay. Let's switch our switch, which is the interchange.
And right here, we have a derail that we need to flip over. Take my little pick here and flip it over. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and run around the train, so I don't need to show you all of that. That takes a little time, going to the one switch, flipping, coming back on the back side of the train. We're going to go ahead and add this car. So I'll be back when we're ready to pick up and set out the next car. Stay tuned. Now we're going to run back around and pick up the other, uh, do the other drop off and pick up. I had forgotten that uh, the because the interchange is a facing point spur, I had to put the rest of my train on the main line and get it out of the way so I could go ahead and switch these uh, the rock gondola into the interchange. So what I'll do here is I'm going to push both these cars forward, uncouple the GON GONX car from the Pennsylvania car and then back the Pennsylvania car 
into the interchange and into the interchange track. So a couple of extra moves I hadn't planned on. Again, we can slow to a stop. We've got our tracks here, so I can flip over the interchange track. And in the reverse, we'll go ahead and uncouple. This gone X car. And we'll go ahead and bring this one to the interchange track. We've got our, our derail open. We'll go ahead and the car in just past the derail. Like so. One more. Give it an uncouple. Keep forgetting my uncouple sound effect. And then back on out. And flip our derail back into place. And then, instead of moving the whole train over to the side view, we're going to go ahead and couple onto this GONX and we'll just put it on the back. Now while it's going on back, I can go over to my pickups and setouts again. So we've picked up our CNW blue car to box car. We picked up our gondola and we set out our other gondola with the rocks. And then we're ready to move to Otley. We just hit that and we're ready for our next load of stuff. Now we come back to the head end of our train and we're ready to go to Otley. Well that's kind of the long and the short of how that works. Um, it's really kind of cool to be able to go from your throttle, being able to go to your manifest, your switch list, and check things off, and then as easily come back to your throttle. There's a user setting when you are in your switch list that if you're staring at it too long, your train will stop. And you can set that for certain a user defined amount of seconds or not. It's kind of a nice safety feature, just so your train doesn't go running off somewhere after you know 20, 30 seconds. So. Anyway, that's been kind of what I've been doing this last month. It's been uh, kind of a blast to have paper, you know, hands-free in a sense, except for the throttle, the phone. No paperwork or clipboards or you know, pens or marking stuff off. It's all electronic on here, and uh, it's just been kind of really rewarding to do. So hopefully you liked this video and got something out of it. Again, like I said, there's uh, YouTube videos on some of this on how to do this kind of thing. There's lots of uh, stuff online on GMRI to read and, and stuff. So anyway, I hope you are uh, having a good spring and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care for now.